G'day fellas, welcome back to the 126 Rebuilds. Today we have decided to go with the Zips. They're out of the MAC conference. I'm almost certain we haven't done them before. They actually come in with a surprisingly good team with the updated rosters. Okay, 63 offense, which leaves a lot to be desired, but 82 defense, 72 overall. And then from there, maybe we can make some things happen. I don't know if it's Akron or Akron. I think it's Akron. I'm not 100%. So don't ridicule me in the comment section. Yeah, this team has done relatively bad. 2010, 11, and 12. 1 and 11 apiece. Yikes. Okay. If you are new around here on the channel, make sure you check out the playlist. We've done nearly 60 teams. So before you go ahead and recommend a team, go check the playlist. More than likely, we've already done them before. If you are new around here, do not forget to subscribe if you enjoy NCAA 14 rebuilds as well as Madden 20 content. Let's get into the rebuild. Ooh, what is this? We've got an 83 overall right and 81 cornerback, 77 free safety, 86 outside linebacker? Bro, this can't be real, bro. There's no way this is the Zips. Their whole linebacking core is already completely done. Their cornerbacks are pretty much done. Quarterback is done. Running back is done. Bro, give it two years and this team will already be done. I promise you that. This can't be real. All right, let's see what kind of players are interested. Not much. We definitely got to get O-line because the team did not start out with that at all. So I've already got safeties. We don't have to worry about that. Cornerbacks as well. I think it might just be offensive line in that. <laughs> Bro, this, this is so trash. There's nobody good interested at all. We got wide receiver here. That's great. We only have two people on the entire list that I want to pick up. Everybody else is going to be people who will, I guarantee you, will have no interest. One of the two people that was interested goes down eight overall. He is a bust. Imagine if we could get Mac Atkinson though. 97 speed, 96 excel. And he's a running back. That would be crazy. Oh, look at this low log cheese. Five star athlete, four star athlete. Wide receivers out the wazoo. There's our quarterback, Kevin Bryant. Good throw power, good throw accuracy, decent carrying. Really fast as well. And he's low lock cheese, so we might as well go ahead and pick him up. All right, we're finally done. We can go ahead and simulate a couple weeks. From the looks of things, we should be able to get every single person here. That includes two offensive linemen. Sorry, three offensive linemen. No, it's two. My bad. A quarterback, a couple wide receivers, a running back as well. That should add to that stack defense. We're ready. Look at that. Anthony Burns. 81 overall running back is committed. So checking it out, we went six and six to finish season one. We only had a targets win per year of five. So hopefully we're up to a three-star school now. That'll help out a lot. We got three people graduating. That's fine. We got replacements for every single one of them. All right, we finish it off with two more wide receivers. And we signed a top five class in the country. Imagine with the team that we already have, all we really needed was that offense. Where we at? Come on, we number five. We literally finished rank five. We stayed at a two star school somehow. We got three five star players, seven four star, two three star, six one stars. I mean, after the training results, this team is about to be godly though. We finished in front of Bama. That should say all you need to know. It's only season two, but I already know what we need to get. Let's go pick up some free safeties right here. We need some D linemen. That's pretty much it. And then, of course, we need O linemen. But, of course, all the ones that are interested are trash. Okay. Oh, Kyle Dunn. Free safety. 73 overall and interested. That means we don't need these guys anymore. Can we get a good defensive end, bud? They're all trash. This guy's all right, but Brandon Hayes, we can go ahead and add him to the top. This defense is already 88 overall. The offense went from 62 to 77 in one year. That is overpowered, bro. If this year works out, this might be the last year we recruit for the entire rebuild. If we get a free safety offensive lineman, tight end, and something else. We're good. That's it. We'd probably be a 99 season four, to be honest. There goes a defensive end. There goes two DTs. And then let's go grab some O-linemen. This guy is unbelievable. Deron Jennings, 87 zone. He's fast as anything. Great play rec. He could easily transition to free safety. <laughs> we do got Corey Townsend, but he could be a safety too. Oh, there's so many athletes, but bro, this is crazy. Like we don't even need him at all. I got to get him. I mean, seriously, when you got two five-star athletes, how could you not take him? This is absolutely absurd. How many good players there are here? I don't even know. I guess we'll take the tight end because we're only in season two so look at that left guard left end linebacker quarterback deet we're done well we need some o linemen but the computer could probably do that 
So we finished 10 and 3 in this season. We only have a target win per year of 5, so we doubled our target win per year. Do you reckon that means we'll jump up to a 4 star? It is very, very possible. I've seen it happen before. We'll see what happens. All right, that's not bad. We've got a lot of people leaving, but that's all right. I'm happy with that. Paving the way for the new fellas to come in. Never a bad thing. Season two, we signed the 24th best team in the country. Two five stars, four four stars, five three stars. We're up to a three star prestige as well. We're chilling on an 88 defense before training results. Oh my God, it's over. Defense is a 99 by season four. The team is done already. Just a couple more o -linemen. You know, we'll do that next year. Just get a couple and that'll be GG, fellas. We can go had simulate this whole thing the number one guy in the country has second interest on us don't know how that happened why you would want to go to either illinois the zips or eastern michigan but we'll take it i'm actually recording this the next day i'm pretty sure the only thing that we need right now is offensive line so let's go do that Wow, look at season 3, 90 overall, 92 defense. That's a natty waiting to happen. This might be tougher than I thought, man. If we can get just three offensive linemen is literally all I need. Every single one of these guys is garbage. I don't know what to do. Literally. I, I mean, I'll try and pick up some of these guys if I can. But uh, yeah, I think we're pretty much done with the whole O-lineman debacle. Pretty sure the guys we have now are better than this. All right, we have the lead on Spencer Floyd, Lloyd, sorry, Neil Goodry. We can go ahead, scrap off these guys, because I did manage to find four more guys. They didn't lift over 600, which is why I initially didn't see them. But now that I look at it, they're all over 70 overall, and they're all Jukos, which boosts their stats automatically. Let's just fingers crossed hope that they are not absolutely terrible. We have four of them here. Gutierrez, just like the guy from Madden. He's a 75. Tony Ball. He's a, the bust of the century. Alan Neely, 78. Jerry Jones, 78. Let's go. That's literally it. Now we're done. Let's go ahead. Give these guys all scholarships. 700. GG. We're out of here. Wow. We won our bowl game 66 to 28, mate. Giving us a 10 and 3 record, which should mean that we're a four-star school now. We still only have a target win per year of five. They're letting us off too easy, mate. It should be seven or eight. We are ranked 21 in the nation, though. Imagine. Ah, this guy wants to go transfer, but you were the starter, bud. Okay, no worries. See you later, mate. Enjoy yourself in Utah State, you bum. So we signed the 48th best class. That's not important, but we're a four-star prestige. We got a 78 overall alignment, 75, 78. We got that really good number one ranked guy in the country. And three more alignment, one being a 71 so we're completely done with building the team so computer has officially taken over for us mate it's all good they can handle it unfortunately for us though there is a bunch of players that have to get red shirt and look at this Oh, wait, no, 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 sorry, not the junior. That's fine. But regardless, there is still a lot of people who aren't going to be playing this year, including a 95 cornerback, 96 right end, 98 outside linebacker, 94 DT, 92 tight end. Oh, my God. Our team is going to be super, super trash this year. But it's only because we're going to be missing so much of our bloody team. So we start off season four, rank 25. We're B plus, A minus, and B. The only reason we went from an A minus to a B is obviously because because half of our defense is redshirted. So we should still pick up at least 10 wins, I'm hoping though. Hopefully computer does their thing in terms of rebuilding, but let's see what happens. We finished 10 and two, rank 18. That's not bad, man, I'll take it. So now our target win per year finally goes up to six. Not that we need it, it's already too late. We should be up to a five-star school now, I believe. So the class was trash, the computer did absolutely nothing. But as you can see, we're up to a five-star school now, just like predicted. We're a 90 overall, but now that the team's coming back with training results, oh my goodness, we're about to be straight 99s and a five-star. It's GG at that point. Look at this team before the results. We're about to have like five or six 99 overalls, mate. So checking it out, 99 quarterback, 93, 92, 90, and 90 at running back. Fullbacks are 74. Wide receivers, four of them are over 90. Tight ends are 97. The offensive line is pretty good. I don't think we have any 90s, but they're all pretty high 80s, which is good to see. Left ends, 87. Right ends are 99. DT is 98 and 92. Outside linebacker, 89, 99, and 99. Cornerbacks, 97, 94, 92, 91. 85 at free safety, 89 at strong safety. So these are 
the preseason polls. We're ranked currently at 24th. We are straight 99 overalls, as you can imagine. There's a lot of competition. But the funny thing is, we have Ohio, ranked 7, 81 overall. And then we have Miami of Ohio, who's 88 and a 3 star. How could you put them at 4 and not us higher? And we're 99 and 5 star. This game makes no sense. We won our first game 66 to 0 <laughs> against FCS. My goodness. I'm out. I need to take a break. That's crazy. So as you can see, I've stopped it in week 11 and we're now ranked 5 on an 8-0 record. Absolutely destroying everybody that walks in our way. We're currently leading in points per game with 53, 585 yards of total offense. Best pass offense, best defense, best rush D, best pass defense. Everything is crazy. 56 to 14 dub. Easy work. We finish off the season by dropping 63 on Northern Illinois. This is almost a guaranteed natty right now. We are ranked third in the nation, 12-0 record. We got Toledo, they're beads. All right, boys, let's go to the hopeful national championship. We won 49 to seven, man. Let's see what happens. Our quarterback finishes second in Heisman voting. What a shame, mate. Wow, that's tough. I can only imagine who would be in the natty, and I can guarantee you one of them is going to be Notre Dame. I guarantee it. We got coach of the year though, so that's good. Yep, what a surprise. Shocker of the century. The national championship will include Notre Dame and Clemson. Uh, and the funny thing is we're better than Clemson. They just have a better prestige. At the end of the day, this team was clearly good enough to make the natty, so at least it's a moral victory. You know, we're five-year rebuilding Akron. You know, that's, that's the important thing. They are good enough to win the natty. Our quarterback finishes with 4,400 yards, 45 touchdowns, and only one pick on the entire season. On the Russian end, all of our quarterbacks kind of shared carries here. Yeah, not bad at all. I mean, this guy, Brad Martin, was a machine. 14 touchdowns. This guy was probably the fourth or third string running back. On the receiving end, we had three receivers over a thousand yards. All of them over 10 receiving touchdowns as well. And on the defensive end, Michael Scott, 99 overall, 66 tackles. We had seven and a half sacks from Daniel Lavelle. Hayes, the sophomore, had five sacks. Quavon Lawson, three, not bad at all, mate. Darren Jennings, five ints. Corey Thomas, four. Addy, two, two. Darren Nito, the cornerback, had four. Kyle Dunn with four. We killed it on defense, man. Absolutely killed it. All right, man, let's go ahead and get into this game. Auburn comes in with an 87 defense. I've never seen so many firsts in a pregame loading screen before. The only thing we didn't get was that rush yards. Let's get it. Okay, it looks like Auburn scores first. What is going on, Akron? Come on, Zips. Get in the end zone. There we go. And now they have been brought alive. We drop the next touchdown. Can we go up 21? 17, I'll take it. All right, defense forces a turnover. We can work with this. Oh, and I go ahead and throw a pick. That's a, that's a yikes right there. Oh, look at that long extended out route up the sideline. Richardson on third and 21. They're the kind of plays we want to see right there. And you can only get them on the Param Crow channel. Fourth quarter time. We're in the end zone again. This is a blowout. It's officially the Zips year. Despite not making the, uh, you know, the championship and everything. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Anyway, I think because we didn't make the natty, I'm kind of disappointed. I'm going to go ahead and simulate the rest of this. It's already a blowout, mate. We've dominated him. Jumping coach gets the orange bowl. Ah, oh, put on some extra points for good measure. Ha ha ha, 41 to 25. And instantly the crowd goes quiet. So checking out the stats, our quarterback had 300 yards, four touchdowns, one pick, which I threw. 128 yards to Corey Ryan. What about on the receiving end? 115, 88, 47. Pretty, you know, evenly distributed. We did get that 71. Wait, we didn't get that? Was it 71 yards? I don't even know, but we got him a big play. Blocking, this guy had 11 pancakes, mate. On the defensive end, pretty solid all around. We did have an interception with Julian Richardson. Nice to see. Oh, we did have a forced fumble. Kyle done. No touchdowns, but. Fellas, that is going to wrap up the Zips five-year rebuild. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed, man. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. If you also enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, man. I need to know you guys want to see these five years because they take a very long time to make. But that being said, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace.